So I showed up Sunday not knowing much about the issue except that here too in Arizona, the Endangered Species Act was being trashed. So in 1988, when it looked like it was not going to be able to make it through the process, in fact, they were told very directly by the director of the Forest Service that this project, if it goes through the process, will be a no-go. So they hired a million-dollar lobbying firm, Patent Boggs and Blow, the same lobbying firm, lobbying law firm, that got funding for the Contras. And that law firm slipped a rider onto the Arizona-Idaho Conservation Act in the waning hours of Congress, end of 1988, and it slid on through and uh, wrecked havoc on the democratic process. The writer said that the National Environmental Protection Act shall be deemed satisfied, and NEPA was not satisfied. There was a process that was aborted. The public comment period was not complete, and there were a lot of, lot of questions about the process, but it was deemed satisfied, and that essentially wiped out the entire body of our nation's ecosystem laws. So. With NEPA out of the way, we still had the Endangered Species Act left, and we've spent the last couple years using the ESA to, to try to fight this project because there is an endangered species on the mountain, the Mount Graham Red Squirrel. It's called the most endangered small mammal in North America. And Something about an endangered subspecies of squirrel, which provoked the Secretary of the Interior, Lujan, to wine, do we have to save every subspecies of squirrel? The populations that are up there now are isolated specifically on that mountain, and it's the furthest southern spruce forest, spruce fir forest habitat in the United States. So it's got not just the Mount Graham red squirrel, but a, a significant number of, uh, of um, relatively uh, tenuous kinds of species up there. Uh, cork bark fur, the twin spotted rattlesnake, the, uh, the uh, red bellied or white bellied vole, and um, as well as, as uh, the Mount Graham red squirrel. So it's an incredibly important place. Mount Graham is a real important ecosystem because it's a sky island. It's a spruce fir forest uh, surrounded entirely by desert. Uh, there are 14 perennial streams at the top of it. There are five vegetative zones from the base of the mountain to the top, and it happens to be the steepest incline through five vegetative zones anywhere in the continental United States. And it's at the southernmost tip of one mountain range and, and biological community, and the northernmost tip of another biological community. So the the flora and fauna there is an extremely unique combination and because it's surrounded by desert it is separated and has been evolving on its own for 11,000 years since the last ice age. So it's been hailed at internationally as a living laboratory for evolutionary biology. So then there really uh, isn't another place like it? No, essentially this is one of, if not maybe the only um, relic Pleistocene habitat this far south in the in the continental United States, maybe in the world. Um, so there is no, there is no other place like it and there's some seven or, or so seven hundred or so acres up there that are essentially intact, although some of the lower elevations have been logged in the past and have some roads in them. The 700 acres is intact and has been since the retreat of the last glacier. And approximately in the middle of that area is where the university wants to go ahead and put their telescopes. In Northern California, Oregon, and Washington, where I spend most of my time, George Bush is wiping out the northern spotted owl to balance the trade deficit with Japan. He's decimating and exporting the last of the precious old growth redwood and dug fir forests arguing that too many jobs will be lost if we save the owl. All around the country, developers are getting exemptions from the Endangered Species Act, destroying precious habitat by holding up the promise of jobs, simply because George Bush and Ronald Reagan before him and the Congress are unable to keep the economy afloat by providing jobs which are sustainable and which do not destroy precious habitat.
besides this, it is a holy mountain to the San Carlos Apaches. It used to be in their reservation. It was taken away from them, I believe in the 50s, but they still use it for spiritual purposes. They gather herbs, they gather holy sacred water there, and they believe that their Apache ghost dancers are there. And when their medicine men um, need guidance, they go to Mount Graham and uh, it's an important place that should be saved. The university originally proposed something like 27 telescopes on Mount Graham. The resistance at that time really came from a coalition of people, and one of the major proponents of that coalition was the, what's called the Arizona Bear Society. And they're still very involved, and they're essentially, um, not all, but some bear hunters. Every major national environmental group has been against it. Every local environmental and conservation group has been against it. Hunting clubs have been against it. It has tremendous widespread opposition. The only, there's, there's a group called Scientists for the Preservation of Mount Graham. Um, scientists across the country, very renowned names, all oppose it. The only biologists that they've gotten to support it I shouldn't even say it in plural. This, the only one is a U of A employee. And, uh, and yet they have stated again and again that they've got widespread support. They don't. They're just saying those words. And a lot of people have believed them and think that the opposition is just a small minority because the U of A said it. But we represent every major national environmental group in the country. It rolled and kept going, and uh, essentially the university was talked down to seven telescopes, 18 and then seven, and the Arizona Rider allowed for three telescopes, uh, and then they would judge and monitor the, the red squirrel and see if there was a negative effect on the, on the red squirrel from the three, and then go ahead and make the decision for the other four telescopes. Well, the university has come right out and said that they can't make it on three telescopes. It, it won't be profitable for them. So they're, ba they're basing their whole shooting match on the fact that, that you know, they're going to get their extra four telescopes. It's going to be one of those situations where they're going to, you know, cry foul if somebody comes in and says, you know, no, you can't have the next four. They're going to say, well, my God, we've got $37 million invested here, you know. How can you tell us that? And essentially, that's not been uncommon in the past, and, and it seems to carry a lot of weight. And so I think that's where it's going to go. And um, there is a wide array of, of environmental groups that are that are uh, protesting this whole thing. And, you know, even Audubon people, Audubon Society people, have gone up and walked in the refugium against the law. You know, and and, and strolled through the refugium as kind of a statement. I mean, we're talking about 16, 70 year old people here with their lights binoculars. You know, <laughs> looking for. I hope they were looking for endangered birds. You know? And they are lying to the public in saying that this thing is going to be an economic boon to the state of Arizona. When they have been telling the Forest Service for years that they are going to lose money unless they have seven or twelve telescopes. And now they've only got an okay for three and yet they're putting Arizonans millions of dollars into this and saying that it's going to be making money when according to what they've been telling the Forest Service all this year they should be losing money. Hand over fist. Mm. Okay. Well, there were three judges. The original ruling was in favor of uh, the squirrel, or in favor of the Sierra Club Legal Defense Fund's uh, belief that the squirrel might possibly be um, negatively affected by, by the uh, construction. Then approximately a week later, one of the judges who'd originally uh, ruled in favor of the squirrel for no known reason, and so far he's, he's uh, has not given a, a, a written opinion, reversed his opinion, and which made that the decision then in favor of the university by a, by a three panel judge, two to one, in favor of the university. And the university at that time began uh, construction on the mountain. So the obvious question is why would a judge, you know, the question that I think is real pertinent here is why would a judge just do that arbitrarily? I mean, I, I would have dealt with a lot of judges in my life. and. Uh, mostly on the, on their side, I guess, or whatever. But uh, you know, judges don't do that. 
I mean, that really impinges on their ability to adjudicate, to judge, and that's something that they hold very, very sacrosanct, you know, that's a big deal for them. And uh, so you have to kind of question as to why that would happen, you know, why would a judge just arbitrarily, seemingly uh, uh, turn around and not give any kind of written statement as to, as to the reasoning. So, you know, that leaves kind of this nebulous sort of world out there as to exactly how much power does the university have and if it's not just the university that's involved with this, um, as far as American entities, you know, what other entities might be involved? You know, may there, may, there may very well be applications for um, uh, Star Wars applications or defense applications, you know, high-tech radio, radar applications, something like that that no one is, is telling us about because it seems, it's, it's seemingly uh, incongruous to, to think that all these people would be willing to take their their hard-fought um, integrity. You know, you're talking about university professors, you're talking about uh, biologists, you know, PhDs in biology, you're talking about judges, um, all kinds of, of uh, people from the university, you know, the paid liars, you know, and they've taken their integrity and essentially flushed it down the toilet, and nobody is asking why, you know, these people would do that. Well, it's pretty obvious why the paid liars would do it, right, because that's their job. You know, and their integrity is probably not worth much anyway. But that's, it's not obvious when you're talking about judges and biologists and people who, whose career and futures kind of hang on, on, their, on their objectivity. And, and uh, so nobody's asking those questions. It's too bad. But the university went ahead and started building up there. And at that point, um, you know, the, the opponents, uh, Earth Firsters, uh, essentially went out and, and told the university that they, uh, that they the fight was still not over. And On Tuesday, there were just a handful of people facing the imminent arrival of loggers who were going to cut trees off of two of the telescope sites. A couple of people used kryptonite bike locks to lock their necks to certain gates, blocking the access for the loggers. One gate was cemented shut and wrapped with locked chains, but they cut through that one pretty quickly. So as a last resort, a few people handcuffed their wrists around the tree with their forearms encased in a metal pipe to prevent the sheriff from cutting through the handcuff, while other people ran around in a cat and mouse game throughout the stand of trees as the fellers were trying to knock the trees down. When the sheriffs realized they could not cut through the handcuff, they simply let the fellers cut the tree over one guy's head and then lift him up over the stump. Okay. You, you still be obstructing traffic, they will arrest you if you don't move. So what are your plans on dealing with this? Uh, the sheriff will deal with it. Okay. Uh, and they'll bring up a van and the rest however many they need to if if they don't get off the road when the construction crew comes up. Okay. Okay. Well, I would, but I have a job to do too.
Uh, someone want to pick up the horn? Yep. <laughs> Ooh, let's be, let's, uh, look at these animals. go up to the cabins and I don't think you have the right to block them and I don't think the movement really wants to do that. No, we don't. Maybe, Maybe we can, we can let look them at issue a pass or something to those people. Mm -hmm. If they're here, we'll let them buy. You, what, you said pass? A what? pass, you know? Yeah. Issue a pass? Let's yeah, keep walking. Issue a pass? Earth, not me. An earth first pass? Sure. Some people could make one up, I'm sure. <laughs> Red squirrel. They could come up here and, and dance for a while. Piece of and paper and everything? <laughs> well, we'll use recycled paper. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Um, if, if that's the only problem, you know, we'll, we'll let them buy that. But, but you yeah, see, they won't, be, uh, they won't be able to get up because of all the, the people that want to get to the site. Well, why don't you send why them don't home? You take, uh, well, well let me ask another, you this. I've seen other cars drive right You made it by. Well, I did, yeah, but yeah. You, you weren't doing so, this then. And, and the, you see, and then this was this didn't well, we'll exist. Have one of us go down don't, don't we as a public have a right to walk down this road? Well, yeah, but you don't have the right to block the traffic. We're walking. We're walking. Cars are moving. Yeah. Yeah. They're getting. They're coming. They're will, getting through. Will you let the here. cars go through here? Huh? We're, we're walking. Will you let these cars go through? We're enjoying the nature too much. But you won't let the cars go through? Yeah, don't answer no that. Need. We're moving. Don't, don't answer that. Box. Are you the attorney for the group? <laughs> oh no, I'm just a legal observer. A legal observer. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, you're familiar with the Boston Tea Party, right? Oh, yeah. So, you know, Love America it. would not be to what it is today Support. If, if the Boston Tea Party hadn't taken place. Yeah, but and also and also, that, people with their guns, if they didn't have them in their homes at the time, we wouldn't be here. Same thing. Say that again? The Minutemen with their guns, if they didn't have them, we wouldn't be here today. Same thing. I but agree with you 100%. The, right, back to the Boston Tea Party, what that was was a number of concerned individuals yeah. who said something is wrong. We're going to go out and protest. We're going to go out and do something about it. That changed the face of history. De De right now, we are, we are at a history precedent-setting stage. The Endangered Species Act could be trashed right now. We are here just as those people in the Boston Tea Party were throwing tea off the ships and saying, no, England, we're our own people. We're not going to deal. Okay? Mm. Do, you, do, you make, do you make the connection? Yeah, and I don't like the comparison. That makes me... The Redcoats. Yeah. King George. <laughs> it doesn't fall. I don't like that. <laughs> See, but if this isn't you your jurisdiction, then okay. you're all right. <laughs> you bet I will. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't want to be King George. Was it the fourth? <laughs> King George the fourth? Well, we got some Earth First shirts you can buy and take off your coat. And well, hey, that's the first time I've heard anybody really say they're from Earth First. We didn't say that. We just say yeah. he's got some t-shirts. Just got Earth I'm just a merchant, you know. <laughs> I can sell you a copy of Eco-Defense, too, it's if you want to do some serious work. It's a great slogan, it sells Birdies are around. Yeah. Chickadees. <laughs> so 
we're just I'm asking you to keep it very peaceful. Do not resist. You know we're friendly. We're gonna do go not there. resist in any way. Okay. The under arrest. Everybody's under arrest. That's what, that's uh, impeding the traffic. Okay, you can sit right there. You guys would just have a seat right here. This is it right here at the Endangered Species Act. Right here. We're being arrested for walking on our justice? state highway. Our is state this highway. Justice? This is our tax money right here being spent. Right here. for a while. <laughs> Sheriff, Hang out Sheriff Mac shade. told us to move out over here. <laughs> so we're just gonna relax and enjoy the We plan on staying here as long as we can. Beautiful Grand Mountain. <laughs> it's an incredible ecosystem. Mm -hmm. It's okay. beautiful here. Maybe we'll see some red squirrels wandering by. Yeah, there's a lot of commotion. Hey, camera boy. Camera boy. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You yell it out. Don't, don't give your names, okay? We must take care of where the earth is our mother. We must take care of Don't give your names. Solidarity.
with every step we take. Taking care of her. Hey, I know. Oh, yeah, nah, hey, yeah, yeah. Are you going to hey, hey, yeah, nah, oh, yeah, nah, hey, yeah, nah. The sky is our father. We shall take care of him. The sky is our father. You want to come over to We shall take care of him. Hi. Yeah. Okay, hang on a second here, okay. I'd like to play a little tune before I go away. It's very appropriate. Just slow. Gotta use your arm. You're not, you're not going to be in a position to put yourself on the rest, are you? No, I'm staying off the road. If I happen to be blocking this incidental, then you can just tell me. Thank you. All right. Well, I don't think we got 30, though. That Somebody yelled out there was 34 of you. I sure don't think we got that. Well, there are a couple people who didn't get arrested, right? In the road. In the road. No, no, no. You guys told me you wouldn't get in the road now. No, don't get back in the road. No, uh, uh Don't get back in the road. You guys told me you'd stay safe. right to drive up the road. Of course you do. Help us out! Let's put these four together and somebody can keep them over here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, ma'am, will you get up, please? Ma'am, will you get up? Go ahead, drag her over to the side. I had to do drag her over. Already. Drag and put them on this side. Okay. Hang on, Sheriff. I'm going to get them. 605. Strong. 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 Woo! We have the power. Come up here. Please. 
Ma'am, you're now being charged with resisting arrest. I, I'm getting Kevin, so do this in one of us. You drag her, I'll drag you. Be gentle. Yeah, please be gentle. Be gentle. Well, it would be a lot easier if you got out. Yeah. I don't have any control over that. Okay. Yeah. They're individuals. Here, you, you want to take this? I took her before she was in the car. Okay. You have all the time in the world to move them. That's what we're doing. I can yeah, we take your time. I, I've got Kevin and we'll just lift in, in harmony here. The whole world is watching, remember that. The whole world is the watching. The whole world. Yes. Well, America is watching you. The I don't know, movement worldwide. Well, the only people who care about the earth. This film's going to take this head and Kevin will take their legs. He will lift his one fell. Ready? Come on. Oh, oh, hang on. Be gentle. Take your time. This way, this, this way. way. This way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> this way. <laughs> To do so. Road? Listen to me. She can, if you fail to do so, we will cite you. Do you understand that? This is a public road. Do you road. understand me now? Go. I would like to speak. Do you on. understand? I have heard what you said. No, don't let her get out there. Get out. I have the right to oh, drive no. on this okay. road. And it's a, it's a public road, and I have the right to drive on it. Oh, oh, don't move any further. The sheriff has just ordered you to stop. Don't move any farther. I have the right to You can to put drive it in reverse and then move backward road. then. You can go forward or backward. I'm telling you to go backwards. This is my vehicle. This is a public road. I have the right to drive on it. So please move out of the way. I don't want to see your driver's license? Excuse me? Can I see your driver's license? Um, I don't really feel that you need to. Yes, we do. Well, That's a bad violation. And you don't have that. I don't want to go. Open the door. Step out, please. Turn the key off. Okay. Step out, please. You've already been placed under arrest, right? Okay, any movement to uh, resist, you'll be charged with resisting arrest. You're, you're also under arrest. We're already in the same place. Mm -hmm. You guys don't have a gun. No. I do in my car. I do in my van.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Woo! Oh, anyway, did, did I interrupt your meeting? Anyway, go back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that a violation of the law, interrupting a meeting? Uh, I was just joining a peaceable assembly as guaranteed by the First Amendment. Ah, gotcha. Matt, Jeff, your chance here? Hey, want to roll that for you? Want to roll that for you, Jason? Jerry took off with my car, which means he has my team. Denied. Yeah, I can take his truck. That's his truck up there.